A 78-year-old woman with a history of heart failure and atrial fibrillation arrives at the ER. She's nauseated, vomiting, and seeing yellow halos around lights. She's been feeling off for two days. Her heart rate, just 42. Blood pressure, low. And her EKG, Mobitz Type 1 AV block with frequent PVCs. Her medications include furosemide, digoxin, and lisinopril. Major red flags pop up on her labs with a potassium of 5.8 and a creatinine of 2.1, well above her baseline. She's ticking all the boxes for a dangerous syndrome. GI symptoms, neurological changes, cardiac instability. What is going on here? In the elderly, kidney dysfunction and drug interactions can tip the balance. That delicate equilibrium, it's just been shattered. So what happens when a life-saving medication turns toxic? She's in full-blown digoxin toxicity. Digoxin levels above two increase the risk of toxicity, but clinical contacts and symptoms are critical for diagnosis. Life-threatening manifestations such as high-degree AV block, ventricular arrhythmias, or hyperkalemia warrant prompt administration of digoxin-specific antibody fragments, or digoxin immune FAB. Make sure to check out our video here on why we use beta blockers after a heart attack. I'm Dr. K from my medical school. Stay curious, keep learning, and hit that subscribe button for more fascinating medical mysteries.